Good morning, everybody. I wanted to make a video today because it is Sunday and I wanted to show you, just take you along for a Sunday in my life. Today, I really don't have too much to do, but usually the weekends recently, I've just been kind of taking the day to study, clean up the apartment, go for a walk or something just outside in the city. So I thought it could be interesting to, you know, just take you along on like my, the little errands that I do, but also um, just to maybe see some of the city as well. And also kind of see what I study by myself when I'm not at school. Also maybe just some updates on like how I'm feeling. And I think like some homesickness maybe has set in a little bit where things are getting a little bit more difficult, especially because August is a month where so many Italians are on vacation and the city, within the city, there are so many places that are closed, which is very strange for me. So I'll talk a little bit more about that as well. So yeah, usually in the morning I make my coffee and right now I'm reading another book in Italian. So I think I will read some more of that and then kind of like plan out my day, see what I wanna get done, okay. Okay, so I just got back. I took a little walk because I had to get some stuff from the pharmacy. You can see my little bag back there. It was nice to go for a little walk. It's kind of hot outside and I'm just eating this <laughs> leftover lasagna. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a close-up. <laughs> I made lasagna like two days ago. Yeah, two days ago, but it turned out really good. It just took like four or five hours to make everything. Um, and I've been like living off of lasagna now for the past two days. Like I swear I've only been eating lasagna. I am, I have to clean up. My kitchen is really, really messy. So I want to clean up, well eat and then clean up. And then um, I want to finish editing my videos so that way it's ready to post this week. After that, I do have to do some studying and I also have to go to the grocery store. It's about like 1 p.m. so I still have time in the day to get everything done. I also kind of want to like book a trip somewhere. I went to Milan yesterday to see a friend and that was really fun. But I want to go somewhere like beachy, like maybe back to Puglia or something. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, so I just did some cleaning and after this I'm gonna do some studying. But before that, I just wanted to give you a little update about how I'm feeling, how things are going, because it's almost, almost, I guess, five months now, which is so crazy how fast time flies. If you didn't see my last video, my Q&A in Italian, I announced that I actually will be staying here longer. So I'm going to stay in Italy for at least another six months, hopefully more, I'd love to stay here longer. Um, but yeah, so for now, I will be staying here longer. It's not just six months anymore. So if you missed that video, you missed that announcement. Um, and I'm very excited. But as an overall update, I think August, this month of August has probably been the hardest for me because just a lot of the city feels just like really empty and shut down because a lot of places are closed for um, vacations and people are all on vacation right now, which is a huge culture shock for me because that does not happen in the US. I mean, that's good that they encourage people to just take time off, but it definitely feels a lot more lonely and a lot of the friends that I made that are Italian are on vacations, not here, and it's, you know, hard to be social. There aren't as many people at the school either, so it's not like there's new people coming in that I can befriend. Also, I, I don't know if I've explained this before, but my language school is not like a university or anything where there's a set semester so people can come and study for however long they want. It could be a week, two weeks, two months, 
for me. Um, I'm, there's only a few people who have been there as long as me now. I'm definitely one of the very few people that has been here for a long time and will continue to be here for a long time. So it can be very difficult when friends come and go. I would have to say that August has definitely been the most difficult, but I really think in September things will turn around. In September is my birthday and my friends will come back. I also didn't really travel a lot uh, because every place is super packed and super expensive in August. So I think that also could be contributing to feeling a little bit more lonely because I've been spending a lot of time just here in Bologna by myself or at the apartment. So, and I definitely miss something. Like I miss my friends, I miss, you know, I watch like old Instagram stories and stuff of my little like routines when I was in LA and going to the beach. So there's a lot of things that I miss, but I still am very, very happy here. I also recently moved up a level in school, which is very exciting, but also it's been so difficult. I feel like I am sitting in class every day like, what is happening? I don't, I don't know like half of these words. So school has been a little bit difficult. But I think it's just one of those things where I was like thrown into a, a level that's a little bit higher than where I'm at now. And so I just have to work to like get, you know what I mean? To like meet, meet that level. But it's fine because it honestly feels the same as when I first started, like first started school here. I felt super overwhelmed. I was worried that I wasn't in the right level and it just took some time for me to finally adjust. So I think that that is what is happening right now. I am a little bit overwhelmed with how much I still have to learn and I get frustrated because while I feel like I've made a lot of progress, I find myself having conversations about certain things and I don't know a lot of words. It takes me a long time to like conjugate things and yes, I've made a lot of progress but there are certain topics that I can talk about very, very well and then if I'm talking with like native speakers or friends, there are some topics or stories that I try to tell or things I try to talk about that just like every other word I don't know and I get so frustrated I'm like how do I not know these words and I mean of course I still have a lot a lot to learn but it can be really frustrating and then it makes me feel like I haven't made progress but I know I have anyways it's very tough it's very very tough but that's why I feel like I need more time here because I'm definitely not done yet if I only did six months I don't think it would be enough also recently I've had a lot of people reaching out to me saying that they want to come either to study or just like moving to Italy in general um, so if you're interested, whenever someone messages me, I'm always responding and I've had like a few calls with people to help them figure out like the whole study visa and schools and stuff like that. So don't hesitate to reach out on my Instagram. Um, I have it like linked below. So if you are interested, I'm always encouraging people to do the same thing if you can. So reach out with any questions. I'm always happy to help. I don't really have any other updates, but I think now it's about, it's about 2.30 I think. I do need to go to the grocery store to get like water and some other food so I'm not just eating lasagna all the time. <laughs> um, I can't decide if I want to just go do that really quick or if I want to study. But I kind of want like some snacks, some study snacks, so. Oh, but the main grocery store I go to is closed today because it's Sunday. Maybe I'll just go get some water and snacks and then I'll order dinner. I'll order dinner tonight. <laughs> They do have like food delivery services here, which as I remember was not very big. I don't think when I was in Rome four years ago, but I think probably after the pandemic, maybe it became more of a thing. But also there's this really good Thai food place. So I might just walk there. There's a Thai food place that's really close to my apartment and that actually sounds pretty good. Maybe that's what I'll do for tonight. Okay. <laughs> Hey, grocery haul. Today, as I mentioned, the main grocery store is closed. So I just went to like an express store. I always love getting some sort of like these little smoothie things. I just, in the summer, I always am craving like some sort of um, smoothie or something sweet, some sort of juice, uh, banana and strawberry. I had to, I just was like, you know what, let's get some chocolate. I love, love, love anything pistachio. So this chocolate has like little pieces of pistachio in it, dark chocolate. Perfect. I had to get some more milk for the morning because I realized for coffee tomorrow I might be out. Giant water bottle. I need to stay hydrated. And then just some like yogurt for tomorrow morning. So just very basic. I think it all came out to like almost eight euro for everything, maybe seven. And so I just want to like relax and study. I did my cleaning and then I'm also going to call my dad later because he wanted to do like, or I asked him to do like a little check in. So far it's been a productive day. I'll show you my setup. I just study out here on my like kitchen table. I have my little notebook. This is the one I use for school. So I have all my different like notes and stuff in here. 
And then this is my little vocabulary notebook that I started using. These are mainly words that I have uh, come across during my reading because I'm really trying to expand my vocabulary because in my new class I like don't understand anything. Recently I've been trying to practice more of the chi and ne because that's really difficult for me. Still understanding where and why there's like chi in a sentence. So I've been looking up some different resources for that and just doing like whatever online free exercises I can find. And I also will still use online Italian club. So it depends because sometimes I really don't feel like practicing or studying like grammar stuff. And in that case, I'll just end up reading. I am reading another book on my iPad that I downloaded. Uh, so I think I might study for a little bit. And if I'm really not feeling doing like intense grammar stuff, I think I will instead just do some reading because it's a lot more enjoyable and I am still currently watching the show Summertime. Now I'm finally on season three and I don't know, even though it's not that great of a show, it's just very addicting still. I don't know. Um, so I think I will watch that tonight as I eat dinner or something like that. I know, not a very exciting day, not a very like social exciting day, but because I really feel like I need to be doing extra studying in order to understand what's happening in my class because I feel like I'm so behind, but everything takes time. sweaty. Um, I just went and picked up my curry. Yes, I got curry even though it's summer and I'm already really hot, but this place is so good. I'm really lucky that I have a good Thai food place next to me. They don't have like a ton of options, like the same that we would have in the U.S., but it's still good enough and it's nice to have like a little bit of variety. We don't eat Italian food every single day. Baby. Neighbors. Um, I'm gonna watch Summertime as I eat and just have, that's probably like the only thing I'm gonna do the rest of the night. Um, Cause it's already almost 9 p.m. So yeah, this is probably gonna be the rest of my day. <laughs> I hope you found it somewhat interesting, but I definitely wanna do more. Like I'll do school days and stuff like that and um, trips that I go on, so time to eat.